Welcome to today's video where I show how to analyze time series data using Microsoft Access. The data that I'm using comes from the USGS or the US Geological Survey and it's flow data for the White River at Newport which is located in the state of Arkansas. The data runs from 1927 to 2020. The, uh, the data does have some gaps in it or some missing data. Uh, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to use the data as is, as it came from the USGS website. And when I say time series data, I mean that there's a value for each time step. And that time step, it could be hourly, it could be daily, monthly, annual. In this case, I'm going to be using daily data, which means that I have one value for each day. Now, there's a couple of things that I'm going to show you how to compute in this data. The first is going to be a monthly average and uh, over the entire time period. So for instance, I might be interested in what is the average flow in July over this entire time period. So I'll show you how to do that. I'll also show you how to compute the annual average. And maybe you're not interested in all of the years, maybe you just want to know what the average is for each year over a certain decade. So I'll also show how to go about doing that. So I'm going to get started with computing the monthly average. So I find that the easiest way to do this is to, once you have your data in the database, find if I go to this query, where is it? I'm going to do a simple query. I'm going to use the date and the flow fields. And those are the only two fields that I have in this database. I want to do a summary. And I want to do the average. And I want to do a monthly average. And I can go ahead and change the name of this query. So I'm going to call this uh, monthly comp. Or YouTube. And now I want to open up the query to go ahead and view the information. And here you can see this isn't quite what I wanted. I get an average, but it's an average for every month over the entire period of record. But that's not really what I wanted. I wanted to know what the average is, uh, you know, for a for each month. Uh, but for instance, what is the average for the month of July or the month of October? So I need to go make an edit to this. So if I can go to, right now I'm in the data sheet view, so it's showing me the data that comes out of my query. But if I go into the SQL view, I can see that I only wanted the month values, but it's actually giving me month and year. So if I could take out all of the references to year, and by the way, if you use MMMM, it gives you the text value for uh, each month. If you use MM, it gives you a numeric value. So this is the format. So I want to make sure that the format only has month. And also I want to make sure that I'm only grouping by month, that I'm not using any of the year references. So I'm going to take out the year references out of my query. So I can now go ahead and save it and I can do a data sheet view and now you can see that I actually am just getting monthly average values. Um, so here you can see you have monthly aver uh, average monthly values for each one of the, the 12 months. So now I wanted to show how you would do an annual average. So again, I'm going to go back to the Newport flow data table. Again, I'm going to do a query wizard. And these steps are going to be very similar. Again, I'm going to use the date and the flow fields. I want to have a summary. I want to have an average. And now I want it to be for the year. And I can call this annual comp for YouTube. And you can 
can see that my queries appear over in this menu uh, on the left. And when I look at the data sheet view, you can see that um, I now have an average for every one of the years. So if this was more information than what you wanted, if someone just said, I just want to know what it was in the 1960s, then you can go to, you can either go to SQL view or design view. In this case, I'll go to design view to show you what that looks like. And here under the criteria for year, I'm going to type in between 1960 and 1969. I'm going to save that and then I'm going to go to my data sheet view and now you can see that I have an average for 1960 through 1969. So that's how you would compute a, a monthly average and also an annual average. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I plan to do more videos on data analysis, uh, both in, in Excel and also in, in Access. Um, I have some videos already dealing with data analysis using Python. So if you're interested in, in learning more about that, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And again, thanks for watching.